So, you have a Venom script for me? Yes, sir, I do, and it's gonna be a ton of fun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna have Venom biting heads off and massacring people left and right. Wow, well, as long as we don't see any of that, that sounds awesome. Wait, what? Well, we want that PG-13 rating so we can have him bite people's heads off, but we can't see it happen. So we can do it if we don't do it? Yeah, exactly. We can just cut away and imply that something violent happened. Oh, that's gonna be significantly less satisfying to watch. Well, our hands are tied. We need that PG-13 rating if we want to make money off a comic book movie. Well, I mean, what about Deadpool and Logan and Deadpool 2? What about them? Well, they were R-rated comic book movies and they made a ton of money. Can't we learn anything from their success? Well, here's the thing about learning. It's for nerds, and I hate doing it. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I hadn't thought of it that way. So what kind of tone and genre were you thinking for this movie? Oh, uh, all of them. All of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's gonna play like a horror movie, and other times a superhero movie, and other times a buddy comedy. We're just gonna be all over the place. I guess it's good to cover lots of ground. Yeah, if somebody isn't enjoying a certain part of the movie, they just have to wait a couple of minutes, and it'll switch to a different genre. That's pretty innovative, actually. So what happens in the movie? Well, we're gonna have some symbiotes land on Earth, right? Uh, I think it's pronounced symbiote actually. It definitely isn't. Well, how about we have them pronounce it symbiote in the trailer and see how people react? I guarantee that they'll be angry. Don't you mean that they'll buy angry? I don't. That's not how that's pronounced either. Listen, as long as people go out and be a bunch of Venom merchandise, I don't care how they feel. Fair enough. So anyway, these symbiotes land in Malaysia and they're taken by the Life Foundation, but one of them escapes. Oh, is it Venom? No, it's a symbiote called Riot that's eventually gonna latch on to the bad guy, Carlton Drake. Oh, what's Carlton Drake's deal? I just told you, he's a bad guy. Oh, that's as deep as it goes. Pretty much. But what kind of stuff does he do? Like, give me an example of a scene. Well, at one point he's with some kids that are touring his lab and they start laughing at this one girl because she asked him a question. Okay. And Drake has this big speech about how it's important to ask questions and you shouldn't silence people that do it. Wow, so what does she finally ask as a question? I don't know, he's gonna leave right after his speech and she's not gonna get to ask him one. Very harsh. Oh yeah. So anyway, after the symbiotes land on Earth, I had a lot of legwork to do to get everybody where they need to be for the fun to start. What do you mean? Well, like the Venom symbiote's in a secure lab now, right? but the whole movie's about Eddie Brock as Venom, so I had to get him into the lab somehow. Okay. So what I did was have one of Drake's scientists reach out to Eddie, and she's like, yo, Carlton Drake is doing tests on homeless people. You have to come to the lab and take some pictures, unemployed journalist Eddie Brock. Why doesn't she just take the pictures herself? Way too dangerous. Oh, it is? Yeah, so she goes the much safer route of breaking into the lab in the middle of the night with an unauthorized individual so he can take the pictures. Much safer. And yeah, so that's how the Venom symbiote latches onto Eddie Brock. And what about Riot? Oh, well, Riot latches onto this old lady in Malaysia and wanders around aimlessly for six months. Oh my god, what? Yeah, spends half a year as an old lady, then goes to the airport and latches onto a little girl who's going to San Francisco. What a weird strategy. Yeah, and then as the little girl, he walks right into the secure lab that doesn't have any security, thank god. How'd the little girl get to the lab? Did she take an Uber? Maybe her parents dropped her off, I don't know. Well, okay then. And so yeah, then Riot latches onto Carlton Drake. Wow, that really is a lot of legwork. Yeah, I mean, all that stuff is definitely gonna be the least fun part of the movie, but Venom has has to break out of the lab somehow, and Riot has to get to the lab somehow, so... I didn't really have a choice. Yeah, I mean, you could have switched them. What? You could have had Venom be the symbiote that escapes at the beginning and have Riot go to the lab, which is where he needs to end up anyway. Wow, yeah, no, that would have saved about 45 minutes of crap and made the whole thing a lot more fun to watch. I mean, you could still change it. We haven't started to shoot yet. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like it though. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, sounds like a whole lot of work. So anyway, what else happens in the movie? Oh, well, Drake's gonna wanna capture Eddie alive since Venom latched onto him, right? So what does he do? Well, what would you do if your secret science thing escaped and you wanted to capture it alive. Something very low-key, I guess. Wrong, you'd send a fleet of exploding drones after him as he does crazy motorcycle stunts. Feels like that would not only kill him, but cause a lot of property damage and attract a lot of attention. It's gonna make for some really cool trailer shots, though. Oh, well, that's what really matters, so okay. And then at a certain point, Eddie's gonna get separated from Venom. Uh-oh, is it gonna buy hard for him to get reattached? No, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, Venom's gonna latch onto a dog and then onto Eddie's girlfriend, and then she's gonna have to make out with him to transfer the symbiote. Wait, does that mean she had to make out with the dog? You're goddamn right. Oh. Anyway, so then we're gonna have this big nighttime fight between Venom and Riot. We're gonna have two super dark aliens fighting at nighttime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like it's gonna buy kinda hard to see what's happening. Oh yeah, super hard to see. It's gonna be like watching two people wearing garbage bags fighting by candlelight. It's gonna be like, who's who and what's going on? Uh, sounds exciting. And at the end of the movie, we're gonna have a scene where Venom and Eddie tease a bad guy before biting his head off. Oh, nice. I'm gonna put that in the trailer. Oh, well, it's like the last scene, so 
so maybe we shouldn't. If there's one thing people want to see in a movie trailer, it's the final scene of the movie. Well, okay then. So Venom basically says he's gonna bite this guy's head and limbs off, and he's gonna roll down the street like a turd in the wind. Oh, uh, turds in the wind are tight. How do you already have an opinion on turds in the wind? My cat's litter box is right next to a fan. Oh, okay, gotcha. So how do you think the movie's gonna do? Well, there's a Lady Gaga Bradley Cooper movie coming out that same weekend in October, so I'm a little worried. Uh-oh. Yeah, so let's hope that turd in the wind line really resonates with people. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. There are a ton of these on the channel you could check out. Also, let me know in the comments section what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. We also have another series on the channel you might like called Theory Battle. We go head to head with different film theories. It's a lot of fun. And if you like this video, please do give it a like. Maybe share it on Facebook and uh, Google+. And check back soon for a new one. Bye bye